Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode. My name is Zurek and welcome to another episode. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day, everybody. And yeah, today we're drawing a commission of a friend of mine uh, or for a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, so we're drawing his little char tiger character, little more or less relative. And yeah, yeah, he got his like a cool tiger. Uh, with the little cap on and all this stuff. I sadly, as you can like maybe already see, I lost like a little bit of the sketch face. Um, I don't know, I forget. sometimes I forget recording. I feel like I'm still in a like, somewhat good quota of like the ratio of like what when I did record and when I didn't. It's only a few times when I didn't. Uh, oh well. Uh, it still sucks, but it's you can still see what I did. Most of the sketching is still there. Sketching really wasn't too big of a deal. Um, the character has like a nice balance of like having detail, but also like and being unique and stuff, but also still being relatively simple. I mean, especially like for a tiger, who which those kind of characters can have quite crazy patterns, I guess. And I do kind of like that as well. Like the patterns are pretty cool, but like whenever you want to draw them, it's like obviously. Well, it can be quite the pain, uh, but yeah, in this case, pretty neato. Nice little cat nose, nice little muzzle. Not too out there, obviously. Um, cat nose is obviously a little, usually a little bit shorter. Uh, just giving him a nice smile as well, and we're there with like a nice, neat little, relatively simple headshot. Um, kind of still till like the chest area, but yeah, just headshot commission. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, at the beginning I was like first like thinking a little bit of like what expression I gave him, but I really decided on something really simple like this, just happily looking at the cam. Um, I mean mostly this is kind of like meant to be like a cool way or like a cool thing that like works as like a profile pic as well and stuff like that. So hell yeah. In this case I did also keep it relatively simple or like relatively uh usual to my style as well um not only because i didn't draw this character all too often yet but also just to like have that be a thing uh but also like i did i did i am also kind of working on a piece basically where i'm trying something a bit more out there uh or like i guess in two ways on two different ones uh one i'm like sort of like thinking of like doing a few changes to my sauna, so it's not style-wise change, but like of like what, how I usually draw, kind of still, you know, how I usually draw him, in a different sense. And there's one where I'd kind of just do like the, trying a little bit with my style. Uh, but you gotta see that, that in future videos, maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, not gonna tell too much about it. And no worries about the sauna thing. I don't think I'll go anywhere drastic at all. So <laughs> just keep in there. Um, yeah, then we're we'll here to add the colors in. Um, first, I actually also one thing, the sleeves on the sides, uh, like the shoulders and down are, yeah, that kind of like orangey color. First I did have it white and it still doesn't, it actually doesn't look too bad. But yeah, this is obviously more accurate character. Uh, yeah, then adding all the stuff in. I forgot a little earring, so I added that in as well again. And after having all the colors in, I decided to have like a shading that's, yeah, I guess like shading or like light rather from behind him. So in this case, I had like basically kind of lights, the, like non shaded areas on both sides a little bit, uh, but much more on the right side. So the light is a little bit like behind him on the left. So yeah. Obviously not forgetting the coloring of the lines and then yeah, defining the shadow exactly. I got, did go for like a purple again, put it on multiply later. And yeah, transparent purple multiply. And then yeah, having some edge lighting, some from side lighting from behind. I did that same thing with like the Gunfire Born Crumpins art that I did like a few videos ago. 
kind of did the same there with the sh shading. Um, there I still had like a bit more of a direct light source, but still, um, the shading part of it, somewhat similar. I quite like that. I don't know when I actually started doing this. I don't. I think it was like before that one that I just said, but this is pretty cool. I like this. It's fun to draw this, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then just adding some last bit, little bits of detail in there, and then we're basically done. Again, I really love doing the kind of uh, shading. That's another shading layer on top of like this, say, taking the line art color again, and making some more drastic line or like shading with that. I, it's really fun. I love doing it. And so I did here as well. And a little bit of like self shade, not self shading, uh, like gradient shading as well, like just with a kind of airbrush. If that makes sense. And I think that touches up quite neatly, gives it a bit more warmth. And yeah, we just have a little happy boil here. Quite like this. Not one that's like totally out there or something doing something experimental, but it is just you, it, it's just basic, but like really nicely executed. I would say I love this one, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of this as well. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, boop that like and subscribe button, and see you guys in the next one.